It's your boy, the one with Scarface, your boy Scarface, and welcome back to another episode. Thank you guys to everybody who always supports every week. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. You guys motivate me to keep making content for you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, that's why I brought my drink because I'm feeling a little parched uh, lately. But again, thank you. Thank you. We're almost about to hit 500,000 downloads. I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. And it's thanks to you guys. It's it. it like I can just say thank you so many times. It's but just to show you how much I appreciate. I wish there was more I could do for you guys. Uh, but in in exchange, I just keep creating content for you guys since you guys really enjoy it and really love it. So uh, thank you guys again. If you guys didn't get a chance to check out uh, the episode I did with Jackie not too long ago, uh, I did. You know when I went out to Cali, it's been doing amazing. Shout out to Jackie, always willing to jump on the podcast, always willing to chat with you guys. Uh, or with me for you guys. Uh, so that episode did really well, and it's I've gotten nothing but great feedback on it. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely go check it out. It's linked in the bio. Uh, it's the episode right before this. So definitely, definitely go check it out. It's it's a it's a really it's a banger. Uh, but wherever you're listening to this at, give us a five star, give us a thumbs up, um, whatever you guys can. It helps the podcast. It pushes the podcast to other people, and and it shows them you know they can also enjoy. Uh, some of this content as well. So thank you guys. Uh, so I really do appreciate it. So uh, again, I always love just sitting here chatting with you guys for a little bit, see when you guys are up to see, and then you guys can see what I'm up to. So first things first, I know I posted over on my IG today uh, that I also started doing real estate. You know, I mentioned it in a podcast before, but if you didn't listen to the podcast, you wouldn't have known because I didn't announce it until today, just because there's a lot of little things that you have to go through before you're actually officially like official officially licensed uh signing up for this signing up for that saying you know all these little things and then uh if there was a hiccup somewhere i didn't want to be like oh shit i already announced it uh you know what do i do now but it's official now so definitely if you guys get a chance even if you're not in idaho falls or idaho i can still help you i can still help you guys out you know just reach out to me uh and then we can go from there but the tiktok thank you guys <laughs> Recently, the IG where I post the IG questions, uh, which are the same as the TikTok questions, has been blown up too. So, you know, shout out to everybody who listens to that. And some of the most popular ones that have been going off on there are the intimate ones. And I feel like that's popping off for two reasons. One, because a lot of people see that they lack intimacy with their partner. You know, sometimes you don't know what you don't know, if that makes sense. Like, you don't know what is good because what you thought you have is good, you know, if that makes sense. And so, like, if you don't know that there's better out there, <laughs> uh, then how do you know? Um, and so, because I've gotten a mixture of both people, meaning there's the people who comment and they're like, oh, this is normal. You know, this is, I thought everybody did this. And, I, and yeah, like, it's cool that you comment that, but you also have to think about it. There's other people who haven't been or aren't lucky enough to have that in their life, you know, because whoever they're with probably doesn't give them that, you know. So you have to think about this on both sides. You know, what if you would have gotten a guy that was vanilla or even a girl that was vanilla, boring, not really into it much, uh, then you would have thought that was the best, right? Because you don't know what, where else, you know, where the bar is at. Uh, but some people that just they naturally find those people and, you know, kudos to them that they're able to find these people. Uh, so we've gotten those people like, oh, yeah, this definitely does happen. Like, oh, I like this. I like this. And you get to see I like to I like it when they you guys share it just so other guys can see be like, oh, it's OK to be kinky. It's OK to be freaky. You don't need to be like feel some sort of way because some guys do. Some guys will feel like. Oh, it's not cool to be freaky like that. I oh, I don't want to ask my girl to do this because she might think I'm weird. No, just do it. And if she does not really feeling it, then she'll tell you, hey, I really didn't feel that. Or guess what? Oh, my God, we tried this and it was amazing. You know, like you, you're you going to get one of the two. Uh, so don't ever be afraid uh, to bring something up that you want to try or you want to do with your partner because you never know. You guys might learn something new. That's why I like it when you guys share the videos because there, there's those people who watch 
uh, will never like your stuff, obviously, but they'll wa be watching the stuff you share, the, the stuff you post and things like that. So if you share something like that, they're going to, it's going to be in their head now be like, oh, dang, like girls like this, girls like that, you know? So maybe hopefully next time they hook up with the girl, they try some of those things. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the goal with those videos is like, hopefully people can see that. And it's also, I've also enjoyed that people find out that that's not, they're settling for less, way less, you know, some people will be like, dang, I'm lucky if I get some once a month. And I'm like, damn, <laughs> once a month, you know, like, especially if you're in a relationship once a month, I mean, like, I don't know. You guys tell me like, I'm not married or, I mean, I've been with somebody for seven and a half years, but what's, what's a healthy amount? You know, I always think about that. What's a healthy amount? Because if you're doing it every day, like if your S drive is like S drive, like I'm talking on TikTok, uh, if your sex drive is high, then I can see you doing it every day, you know, but not everybody's sex drive is that high or it just like over time you get comfortable, like not comfortable, but it doesn't feel the same. Meaning like uh, the energy isn't high, if that makes sense, you know, because after a while, it's just like to get that need out the way, you know? So, I mean, what what's a healthy amount? Because maybe a healthy amount to you is a shit ton to this person because they don't even get that much. Or a healthy amount to you, you know, is like way below than what you should be getting, you know? Like, what if you're like uh, once a week, once every two weeks, you know, and somebody hears that, they'll be like, oh shit, like, damn. Like, once every two weeks, like, I can't do that. Um, and so... That's why I always like to ask these questions and do these videos because I like to see where people sit on those topics because, again, I not a lot of guys will talk to you about things like this or even bring it up. Uh, like when I was with my ex seven and a half years, we, we got to the point where, yeah, we were like for the first two, two three years, I would say like it was like we were on <laughs> overdrive with intimacy, right? But then after, like, when you start growing apart, it starts feeling more like a, like a, sometimes I say chore, but maybe that's a little too harsh. <laughs> but it, it feels like something that, of course, it feels good at the time. Like, don't get me wrong, but just, like, you're not really in the mood to do it with them anymore. You know, like, it's not those cravings aren't there like they used to be, you know, in the beginning when you're just like, damn, I can't wait to, like, eat this person up. Right. And then after a while, you're just like, yo, like, I guess we got to do this, you know, because uh, you got needs, they got needs. And uh, so we went through that patch too. Like, we we're, I would, I don't know, like, how far back or how long we were going without being intimate, just because I really was not into her, like, more like craving her like that, especially because, like, what we were going through at the time. Like, that's something that wasn't crossing my mind. Like, damn, I need to get something from her real quick, you know? Um, so th that's why I like talking about these issues. And and especially me, like, you guys told me before you guys like it when, uh, like, a, a guy's perspective that talks about some of these issues. Because, again, some other guys are not going to tell you these things. Because, again, pride, ego, whatever the case may be. Uh, but a lot of guys, not sh well, yeah, struggle with it. Um, and it's not that I couldn't do it with her. It's just, I didn't want to do it with her. Like it's, it's a difference. Like I would just not, you know, probably into it like that anymore. Like the intimacy really didn't feel like it was there anymore. And so we were having less and less and less, you know, but then like when I got with the next girl I was with, we were like, again, it was back to that. We were doing it all the time everywhere to, you know, uh, just random, like pull over here and then boom. You know, things happen. <laughs> uh, so that's why I said, like, it, it depends on the person's life, too. So that's why, like, like sometimes when people comment these things, I get it. Like I mentioned before, I know it's normal for you or it's, like, common for you. But you have to remember it, it may not be common for everybody, you know, depending on what people are going through at the time. Uh, or, again, like I mentioned <laughs> maybe the person that they were with was not intimate at all or very spicy. You know what I mean? They're 
pretty vanilla, didn't really do much. And so to then that becomes normal to that person. You know, like just the basic, the guy gets his, then all of a sudden that's it, you know. <laughs> uh, and that comes down a lot too just because a lot of you girls fake it. Like saying, oh, it was the most amazing thing. No, if it wasn't that great, don't tell him it was amazing because now you just built this dude's ego and now he thinks that's all he needs to do to please you and you're thinking, oh, next time he'll do it. Oh, next time he'll do it. No, like if you already set the bar there, like that's what he needed to do to get you off, then guess what? Like now they think that's all they need to do. You know, when in reality, they didn't do, I mean, of course, I'm sure it felt great or whatever, but you didn't get to finish, <laughs> uh, even though you told the guy that you finished, you know, so that, that's why if I know it could hurt their ego or it could <laughs> do something, but I would rather know where I need to work on than knowing that you're faking it. I think it would be worse for me, like me personally, knowing that you were faking it than you telling me, yo, like you should try this or do this. Don't necessarily be like, yo, my boy, that shit sucked. Get your game off. Because <laughs> then they would be like, I ain't trying to hook up with her no more. Um, but if you're just like, oh, you should try this next time. Do this. Maybe we can do this. You know, slowly start coaching and, and encouraging and including other things. And I think that will go a long way. But just faking it, that's not doing anybody a favor, you know, besides that person's ego. You're going to be like, yeah, I was straight destroying that thing. She got two minutes of this awesomeness. <laughs> uh, so if, if they don't kill it, then don't don't feed that ego. Like, Don't do that because then even if they're not with you, now they're with the next person and they're going to be like, dang, like this dude sucks. Like, And then everybody's just faking it. Uh, Again, I would probably get take a bigger hit, meaning like it would suck to hear that this girl was faking it the whole time than uh, her telling me, hey, let's do this, let's do that. You know what I mean? Like I'd rather go through that conversation and get better than the whole time her, because girls talk, fellas, girls talk. They're going to be like, yeah, he's all right. You know, I haven't finished with him. Girls talk about this all the time. <laughs> uh, and they're going to put, like, if you're not doing a great job, they're going to tell their friends they're not doing a great job. Uh, and if you do an amazing job, they still say that you're doing an amazing job. Uh, so, again, ladies, if they're not doing that great, don't feed the ego. Like, that's the worst thing you can do for a guy, especially a guy's ego can get uh, built super quick and easily and then also <laughs> destroyed very easily. That's why, like, a lot of things... Uh, will destroy if you told them that they straight up sucked kill their ego and they would hate you <laughs> so that's why i mean like uh a guy's ego is super fragile because it can be built super quick you know by you telling him oh that was the best i ever had now his ego is through the roof or if you're like that shit sucked now it's like through the, the floor <laughs> uh so definitely do not fake it that's what i highly recommend is do not fake and if it wasn't the greatest don't tell him it was the greatest or don't fake your orgasms or nothing like that because you're not doing him a favor and especially if you're with this person over a period of time if you faked it they're gonna be like that's all she needs you know and like i'm not gonna put more effort because guys get lazy guys get comfortable come on let's be honest now um and so that's that another one that's been popular on my uh tiktoks as well that i wanted to touch on is a lot of these a lot of people don't want to bring up issues. Don't want to have these conversations with people because of the fear of the person walking away or leaving the relationship. Now, and I get it. You romanticize somebody or you really want this person it to work out with this person. I get that. I understand that. I've been there. But if you just let it go with the flow, <laughs> you could be in a situation and you don't even know that. You could be a placeholder and you don't even know that because you never brought up these conversations. If you bring up these awkward conversations, these conversations that you know you're supposed to have with this person, and especially over a period of time where you want to know, you know, uh, where you stand with this person, you have to bring it up. 
you can't just uh, be assuming because some guys would just like let go with the flow as long as they can. Uh, but if you bring something up and it happens to push them away, they were never meant to be for you. Because if they really wanted to be with you, they would have told you what's going on, how they feel about you, what they plan, what what kind of future they have with you, you know, and and so on and so forth, right? And if they don't see you serious, if they are not planning a future with you or anything like that, they're going to hit you with the go with the flow. Let's see where things go. I'm not mentally ready. Relationship, this, this, and that. No. Or you'll just scare them off. Why? And and it's fine. I always tell people you want to scare people off because if you're scaring them off like that, bringing up these conversations, they were eventually going to leave. They were not meant for you. Um, because if I'm taking a girl serious and she tells me what my intentions are with her, I'm going to tell her straight up, you know, like, hey, like, I really enjoy your company. I really like you. I've had a great time getting to know you. I do see you, um, you know, being something serious with you, you know, um, And again, I would say I always like to wait about six months to a year just to see if we're on the same frequency in six, seven, eight months, right? Because everybody puts on, most people put on a persona in the beginning, you know, the honeymoon phase, the, uh, the, 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 the puppy love phase, like where everything's great. You guys are doing everything together. Nobody can do no harm to each other. But then I always talk about this too, like the... The, the 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 what's it called an argument that happens like month one or two is not going to be <laughs> this one's like cute not so rough friendly uh maybe you you find it a little uh, funny or attractive that he got a little jealous or she got a little jealous but that same argument eight months down nine months down is not the same <laughs> you know now it's not no longer cute now it's like what the fuck were you thinking you know <laughs> uh so that's why I always say like, and then people change over a period of time. Like people's feelings change. If there's if if you're still pretty, like wanting to get to know them, talk to them in six months, seven months, eight months, a year plus, then you know obviously this person is for you. But you have to wait for that period of time. That's why I like I don't understand how some of these people can start dating after a month, two months, three months. You know, like yeah, become exclusive to that person. You know, I'm not saying date around and be with a bunch of different people. What I am saying is, like, if you really vibe with this person, you want to see where things go, then go. Then then you guys are exclusive to one another. And then if I feel like I still feel the same and hopefully she still feels the same, then, you know, I'll be like, yo, like, let's let's make it official or something like that. Um, but I always put that out there just because, again, like, what if I switch up? What if you switch up? Um, and people change for... Like, not a lot, you know, like me, I bring whatever, how I am to the table. I'm, I do my goofy jokes. I'm outgoing. I'm out there. I swear I don't do anything to like make myself seem like cool or like, uh, and ambi- no, I bring how I am The Edgar day one is the same Edgar you're going to get in a year. And before, yes, I would do it like the opposite, like where you try to put like good foot forward. You try to be this person, try to impress the girl. I wouldn't even swear in the beginning because I'm like, what if she doesn't like people who swear? And I'm over here just cussing. I mean, I don't cuss up a storm, but I throw in swear words every now and then. I say some like sexual shit, (laughs) obviously, big dogs, you know, and uh, and then eventually like the per you guys start liking each other for like what you guys brought to the table here in the beginning. But then like, as soon as you, your actual personality comes out and how you really are comes out, then now it's a problem. Like, dang, like, why are you acting like that? Why are you doing that? You know, and things, (laughs) those type of arguments. So, uh, day one, Edgar, you're going to get the same Edgar you'll get on day a hundred, day 300. Uh, Like, because I said, I was like, if they're going to like me, you're going to like me for who I am what I bring to the table in the beginning. Like, and if you don't like that, then cool. If we don't vibe, if you don't like how I talk, if you don't like how, um, I've, I said some, I mean, I'm not going to make you feel uncomfortable, you know, like, but like I, I talk, joke around, have fun outgoing. And if that's not, I'm not your cup of tea, then cool. I'm not your cup of tea. You know, like not everyone is for everyone. And I always say that. So 
I mean, the the reason I wanted to bring that up is that have these conversations. Don't be afraid to run somebody off because if you run run them off, they were never meant for you because they would have never got ran off with the simple conversation that you wanted to have, you know, or something that you brought up. Uh, those are the people that were eventually going to leave. You know, it was just a matter of time. But instead you gave them, that was the catalyst for them to take off. Or it's the catalyst or not the catalyst, but it would be the the necessary push to be like, oh, okay, you know, I am trying to take you serious. And that way you know where you stand he, you, and you know where this, uh, the person stands too as well. And that's not going to happen you waiting. You know, how many times have you seen people wait to see like if something gets fixed without you bringing it up that's just not gonna happen like if something's bugging you or like you want to know something bring it up like i can't stress that enough i always do i do it all the time you know like if i something is bugging me or something i bring it up and if you don't like that i brought it up then cool we're not meant for each other like uh because i would rather bring it up now and if you're really into me you're going to make the necessary changes or if if that's something that you want to change then you'll do it you know like if that's something now nah, this is who i am cool then cool like now we found that this out early on uh, because most people what they do is though if something bugs them they they'll wait for five six months until they bring it up until it keeps happening over and over why because a lot of people wait and they think that this person is going to change or it's going to fix on their own no. Uh, and then when you finally bring it up, I mean, some of you girls have done it before. Like you bring it up and then the guy's going to be like, this never bugged you before. Why is it bugging you now? You know, even though it bugged you a long time ago. But what you what, what didn't you do? You didn't bring it up. That was the problem. You should have brought it up. And so and that's something I learned, too, because I was the same way. Like by the time my ex would bring something up, it had been a problem for like four or five months. And I use the same thing. I'm like, why is it bugging you now? Like, I've been doing it for this long and like, it bugs you now? No, it had bugged her before, but she didn't bring it up until that time. So that's why I say, like, bring it up. Like, uh, I, I give this example on some of the TikToks too. I remember I was talking to this girl and uh, she had told me that she didn't like how it felt like she felt like I was giving her less time, less attention and things like that. And I really liked her. And so I was like, oh, shit, my bad. And it wasn't because I was doing it on purpose. I just I thought I was giving her the same attention and and whatnot. But it was uh, I was just like focusing on work. I, I do that a lot. It's like I focus in on what I'm doing, like the client work, TikToks, podcasts, you name it. Like I'm always locking in into something. And I didn't realize I was giving her less and less attention. And since I liked her, I'm like, oh, shit, my bad. I didn't realize that. Let me change that. Like, I don't want you to feel like that. So uh, I I was like, made it like because I wanted to not because I was like, she told me because I wanted to. I was like, uh, I got to put in a little bit more effort to her. Like if, you know, I would want her to stick around. So like, of course, I started putting more effort in it. But I would have never known if she would have never brought it up. So that's why I say bring these things up, because sometimes the Either the guy or the girl doesn't know, or the longer you wait, the more of a problem it's going to be. Meaning, like now you have the you've dealt with it for like another four or five months, and then when you bring it up, now you run into the argument. Like, why are you bringing it up now when you never brought it up before? Why is it bugging you now? Like, and then they're going to think that you're that nagging person and stuff like that when you really had bugged you a long time ago, where you should have just originally brought it up. So. That's why I say to saying like, do not be afraid to scare people off. I want to scare the wrong people off because the right person is going to be like, my bad. What do I got to do to change? Let me change that. Uh, that way I can keep you around because I want you to be around. Uh, somebody who's not with you is going to be like, damn, this girl's super picky. I'm out, you know, or be like, damn, like she's like grilling me about this and this and this. I'm out like that's not because they didn't see a future with you, you know, because Let's be honest. No, no relationship is perfect. No relationship is going to be all ups. It's all it's ups and downs. You're hoping it's more ups, right? Than it is downs. But it it happens. There's downs all the time. There's nothing you can do about it because life happens. Shit happens. Like things happen. Um, and so that's why, like, don't be afraid to scare people off because the right people 
are going to want to fix your guys' situation and the wrong people are going to leave. And that's what we want. And so that's why we talked about, I talked about it too with Jackie too. Is, um, a lot of people romanticize that person and are afraid to let that person go because they think that that's the person for them. So they're willing to be blinded to red flags. They're willing to, uh, their boundaries to become super blurry. So you don't even know what they are anymore. And just because this person looks good or you think that this person is um, the one, so you have to bend some some of your bound. No, the one is going to want to fix things, want to make things work out with you and, you know, in at whatever costs. Uh, so that's why I said don't don't ever be afraid to scare some people off because of that. And the last thing that I want to touch on is I mentioned it before. I actually do want to change the name of the podcast just because. So I'll give a little bit of context. I used to, well, when I originally started the podcast, it was more of an entrepreneur podcast. Like I was interviewing and talking with local businesses, entrepreneurs, and things like that, right? And I mean, everybody does that now, but it was getting to the point where it was like, I was thinking, how do I expand? Like, you're not going to, I'm just being straight up honest and transparent. You're never going to grow outside of your own city or state that big uh, that like how much you can just solely talking about local people and local stuff and there's a market for that don't get me wrong there's a mark definitely a market for that but if you're trying to grow big that and I was always running into that like okay who can I get on that's like outside of that you know like bigger people better people I'm, I'm not necessarily better but like just like bigger more reach uh, that's going to get me into a, like, of course, we were listened to in a bunch of different states, but uh, I would want it to be like a worldwide thing where uh, it would be value to everybody. But again, like a lot of people do that type of format of podcast. So it's really hard to stand out, even though it was doing well, don't get me wrong. But as soon as the TikToks took off and then I pivoted the podcast to talk about that, it just got like, uh like say it was on two wheel drive, all of a sudden we put it into four wheel drive and we off, you know, and, and we're driving and it, we were driving in snow. So it's like a little difficult when it's two wheel drive. But then once you put in four wheel drive, you're just like, like flying. Right. And that's what happened with the podcast. <laughs> and so that's why it just doesn't fit. So mes mescla of moguls means mix of moguls and a mogul. Like a lot of people know is like maybe like a, someone you're trying to be like entrepreneur, uh, some sort of someone in a high high statue of uh like wherever their uh, place of employment whatever field or if they have their own business right like kevin hart is a mogul right uh steve jobs is a mogul right elon musk is a mogul um and i just really feel like it doesn't fit the podcast especially what we talk about so that's why i've been like debating on what i should call it i i, I definitely do want to change the name uh, cause I was actually having a conversation with a buddy earlier today and he's like, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm still wondering why you haven't changed it, uh, just because of what you talk about. And so that's why I'm just like, I know, I know I get it. Like, I just don't want to change it and then change it again. So, uh, I'm really trying to figure out what name I can give it that I'm going to love first of all, uh, and it's going to be something catchy, cool. I don't want to use the word talk. I don't want to use the word podcast in it. Uh, you know, I want to avoid that type of stuff because if you go into the search bar and type in podcast, how many podcasts are going to pop up? If you type in the word talk, how many people are going to like podcasts with the word talk are going to pop up? You know what I mean? Like, so, I mean, if you put mescal, there's like nobody, right? <laughs> and so that's why I'm, I'm trying to figure out like what I can name it. That's going to be cool, catchy, flirty, sexy. Uh, and at the same time, you're going to be able to remember it. Uh, and that's why, uh, like an example I give is like the Nike logo. It's just a swoosh. and But you, it's iconic. You can remember it just by looking at that check mark. Same with the Apple logo. Adidas, pay attention to how simple their logos are and how easy it is to remember that's why, like, when people want to do complex, crazy logos, flames, fires, and all sorts of stuff, all sorts of lettering, people are not going to remember that. It's too much going on. It's too much to remember. But if you show them just something simple, like my uh, Scarface Visuals logo, like, 
people see it and they know it's me now. You know, like they know it's me. They don't, it doesn't even have to say my name on it. But they know that comes from me just because how hard I pushed just the logo uh, without the name. And now people know that that logo represents Scarface visuals. So that's why, like, and, and things like that. So I also want something similar for the podcast. It's like a name when you say and you're like, yo, that's Edgar's like Spicy Talks, you know. And no, I'm not naming it Spicy Talks. <laughs> um, it has to be something cool because, again, uh, some of the things that to look out for is like not to name it Talks. Not to name it podcast, not to name it banter uh, or anything like that, because trust me, there's plenty of people out there who have used similar things. So there's like some cool ones that I listen to. The Diary of a CEO, which is uh, I listen to that Patrick Bet David's PBD podcast, uh, Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan experience, you know. Um, so those are the ones that, you know, uh Theo Vaughn this past weekend, you know, uh, Bobby Lee, Bad Friends, uh, or there's Tiger Belly, the one who does with his ex, you know, just like things like that. You see how it doesn't have like podcast talk, you know, uh, just because those there's so many like that and you'll just get lost, lost in the search. So that's why I'm trying to keep it a little bit different. I'm still thinking about it, still debating. If you guys have any ideas, definitely shoot them towards me. Uh, I'm open to ideas. It's just I got a lot of things going on right now and trying to think of a name, like sitting there brainstorming. Uh, so and then also we have like the awards thing coming up. So I, I kind of want to change it after the awards just because I know I'm going to be on there with this podcast name and I don't want to switch it. And then all of a sudden, you know, like uh, so I'm kind of I still got a couple months for that until they announce it. We're on there. But I, because they always put the winner from last year on there. And so that's why I'm like, maybe I'll wait until afterwards to change it, you know. So, I mean, we'll see. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for always jumping on, always, uh, you know. I'm still trying to work on my studio here. Uh, you know, I'm, it's, it's a work in progress. I'm trying to figure out, like, what lights I need. Like, there's, like, a bar that I want to get that it goes above and it, like, has, like, a hair light. I want to get some like brighter lights that go in the bag just because I feel like these are not bright enough for what I need um, or long enough. So uh, and then these lights I could probably use for something different, too. So, And, and then I need to fill up the wall with this texture pattern. You know, right now it, it fits perfectly for like the TikTok format, uh, but just like wide. That's why you don't see the table and stuff. It just it's not wide. So I need to add more. That way you guys can see more of the, the texture in the bag in the wider uh, shot. So. But anyways, it's a work in progress. Like, that's why I wanted to build this here. That way I could build it to my liking and make it work. Like, this room is solely dedicated. Like, I have my sound blankets up. I need to put some back here, too, so there's less of an echo. Um, and just, it's a process. It's a process. But again, thank you guys. Without you guys, I wouldn't be motivated to do this stuff for you guys and give you guys the best experience possible. So, anyways, give this video a thumbs up, five stars, rate it, share it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.